Today we're going to be talking about my mommy's boob. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my breastfeeding tips and essentials. Now I know every baby is different, every mom is different, so the tips and essentials I share with you today may not work for everybody, but I am a mom of two. I did breastfeed my first for a full year and my other daughter is currently four months and I am also breastfeeding her. So I just want to share things that worked for me and like I said they may not work for you but I just want to put this info out there because a lot of you did ask for this video so I hope this helps you. So first I'll just give you a list of the essentials that are must-haves for me. So my first absolute essential for breastfeeding is a bobby pillow. I use this all the time. It just helps prop up my daughter to my breast better and it just makes breastfeeding more comfortable and it just gives you good support. So I definitely recommend you going out to go buy a bobby pillow and you can get this pretty much anywhere. So the second essential that you need for breastfeeding are nursing pads. Now what these are for is they go inside your bra and this is if you leak. So I know not everybody leaks when they breastfeed, but for me, whenever I am feeding my daughter on the opposite side that she isn't eating on, I do end up leaking a little bit. It's not bad, but I wear these just in case because you, I don't want to be out in public and have it show through my shirt because it's pretty embarrassing. But for the breast pads, you can go with cloth ones so these are washable you can get these pretty much anywhere walmart target yeah so these are washable and the other kind you can get are disposable ones and these are the target brand so i'll show you what the disposable ones look like so this is what they look like and these are also really nice because they have sticky sides so they actually just stick inside your bra. So what's nice about these ones, even though they are disposable and you have to keep buying these versus these ones where you just pop them in the washer and you're good to go. But what's nice about these ones is since they stick inside your bra, when you pull down your bra to nurse your baby, it doesn't fly out or move around and shift. So it's honestly just personal preference. I use both. I mainly use a cloth one in the middle of the night and I just use this one during the day. It's just honestly just preference but I do definitely recommend either one if you are breastfeeding because you will definitely have some leakage especially when you're first starting out. The third essential that I recommend is nipple cream. This one is the Mandela brand and it helps soothe and relief for sore nipples. It's safe for mom and baby so you do not need to wipe this off whenever you feed your baby it has all natural ingredients it glides on smooth and gently so this you're definitely going to need especially if you are a new mom and you're new to breastfeeding breastfeeding can definitely at times make your nipples sore and if your baby isn't latched correct, which I'll get into in a little bit, but if your baby isn't latched correct, it can make your nipples raw and it's just super painful. So this will definitely help soothe that, It'll help heal cracked nipples, all that fun stuff that comes with breastfeeding sometimes. But I definitely recommend this because this will help you if you have any issues with pain in your nipples. So my fourth essential is a breast pump. I currently use the Spectra. I absolutely love this breast pump. It's always nice to have a breast pump, but it is personal preference. You don't need to pump milk if you don't need to. You can just strictly feed your baby from breast. It's definitely nice to have one, and I would check through your insurance because I got my breast pump completely free through my insurance. So my fourth essential is a nursing bra. What's great about nursing bras, do you have little clasps right here. And what this does is when you are wearing it, you just unhook the clasp 
and you pull it down for easy access for your boob. So my fifth essential is nursing tanks. So this is the same concept with the nursing bra. It has the clasp. This one is from Target. It's just a plain black one. I definitely recommend it because sometimes when I'm out in public, I will wear my tank underneath just a t-shirt like this. So when I'm out in public, when I go to lift up my shirt, I'm not exposing my stomach or anything because I have this underneath. Definitely nice to have these, especially when it's hot outside. I'll just wear this just like that. And to go with the same clothes concept, you are obviously going to want nursing friendly clothes. Now with that being said, you don't need to go out and spend all that money on actual nursing clothes because you can definitely just wear t-shirts like I do and just pull it up or you can find t-shirts that kind of have like a slouchy neckline and just yank it down that way which I did with my first all the time. It's just definitely your preference. You don't really need to go out and spend the money on actual nursing shirts. Just, you can just easily make it work. Now my next essential is a nursing cover. Now I do currently own nursing covers. I've used them multiple times. I use one all the time with my first, but this time around I'm just, I'm more, I don't know, I'm not as strict as I was on myself because with my first child, I wore one constantly, but the second time around, I'm just kind of just like, whatever about it. I mean, I don't whip my my boob out anywhere. If that's something you do, that's totally fine. I'm totally 100% for breastfeeding. But for me personally, I just, I still cover up, but not as strict as I was with my first, if that makes sense. So. Lately, I just, I will lift up my shirt to feed her and then sometimes I will just use a muslin blanket and I'll just throw it over my shoulder. It's definitely your preference. You definitely can use a nursing cover. If you don't use a nursing cover, that's totally fine too. I know every baby's different. Some babies don't like being under blankets while they're eating. It's totally up to you. I don't always use one. Sometimes I use one. So the next essential that I recommend are milk storage bags. These are definitely a must if you're planning on pumping milk. And let me show you what one looks like. This is what the bag looks like. And this is the Lansino brand. I hope I'm saying that right. But this is the brand right there. And with these bags, they're nice to have, obviously, for if you're pumping milk and you're storing milk. I like this brand because they have a click and secure seal, so you're very unlikely to have spills. They lay flat for when you place them in the freezer, or you can stand them up. And they also have a pore spout. This part rips off here. Let me just, let me just show you. So this part rips off the top. So it has, when you pour your milk into the bottle, this will prevent it from having any spills, which is very nice because if you pump in your mom, you definitely know breast milk is liquid gold, so you don't want any spills. So I definitely recommend this brand, and I use this brand with my first two. I haven't really used any other brands, to be honest, so I'm not sure how the other brands work, but I definitely recommend this one. And I'll have everything that I'm talking about linked down below so that you can check it out if you would like. Now the next essential for breastfeeding are actually prenatal vitamins. You do need those vitamins, especially because you're breastfeeding and your baby just takes a lot out of you. So I take the Vitafusion ones. They're gummies. I just take two a day. You're definitely going to need prenatals to get your daily vitamins in. So my last breastfeeding essential is a water bottle. You definitely, definitely want to keep up your water intake. It is the number one thing that's gonna help you. You definitely wanna stay hydrated for yourself and your baby. Your baby takes a lot out of you, so definitely keep up with your water intake. And it's also gonna help keep up your milk supply. The water all around is definitely good. So that was all my breastfeeding essentials. So now we're gonna talk about breastfeeding tips. Now, first off, I just wanna say I am obviously not a lactation consultant. I'm not a doctor. So if you have a serious question or a serious concern about breastfeeding, 
definitely consult with a healthcare provider. I just want to share some tips that worked for me for both my older daughter Layla and my other daughter Aurora. So my first tip is definitely talk to a lactation consultant. Now most hospitals, if not all, offer a lactation consultant once you have your baby. Definitely take advantage of it. Even if you feel like you definitely have it down because you're a second time mom or whatever the case is, definitely still just have them check up on you and baby because sometimes you might be a little bit too tired in the hospital to notice an issue or you might just feel comfortable but sometimes since we are not experts there can be something that we don't catch. There's just so many different things that can be tricky with breastfeeding as natural as people say it should come it's not always the case for everybody sometimes there's issues like tongue ties just so many different things sometimes the latch is incorrect and if the latch is incorrect it can cause so many issues for you and baby if the latch is incorrect it can definitely be very uncomfortable and painful which will cause cracked nipples just all that stuff so you definitely want to Make sure your baby is latching correct because it also can affect how much milk they are getting. Definitely, definitely take advantage of the resources around you and don't be afraid to speak up and ask for help. My next tip is definitely just to try out different positions. For me, for what worked for both of my daughters is just the simple normal cradle hold and that is just the simple you know when you're just holding them like that but there are so many different positions there's i believe the cross cradle position there's the football hold there's just so many different positions so definitely google all the positions try them out see which one you and baby are both comfortable with so my next tip is definitely keep up with how much you are eating act throughout the day like i said keep up your water intake because with breastfeeding you are going to be burning an extra 300 to 500 calories which is a lot and i definitely feel hungry 24 7 like i feel like i can eat all the time you are supplying all the nu nutrients for your baby so make sure you are eating next tip that is probably one of my number one tips is don't clock watch with my first daughter i definitely clock watched and by that i mean while you are breastfeeding don't be obsessing over how long your baby fed. Just don't put too much emphasis on it because every baby is different. With my first daughter in the beginning especially, she nursed on me for so long. Sometimes it felt like she was nursing on my breast for about 45 minutes. With my second daughter, Aurora, she is a really quick eater. Like she gets the job done in about 10 to 15 minutes so I definitely recommend don't clock watching don't over obsess with it because you are definitely going to just stress yourself out and you're gonna ask concerns that don't really need to be there so don't clock watch don't worry about it too much every baby's different some babies take longer to nurse than others my next tip is to definitely make sure you are comfortable By that I mean pillows pillows are going to be your best friend Definitely make sure you have pillows in the back of you, pillows under your baby, just you want pillows all around you basically. <laughs> you don't want to have back pain because if you don't have pillows under your baby for instance, sometimes you will be more hunched over so that your baby can reach the breast better and what that's going to do is just cause you to have a lot of back pain which isn't fun. So definitely make sure you have pillows, you just want to be comfortable and relaxed 100% while you're breastfeeding. So my next tip is to definitely make sure you always burp a baby. You don't want them to be gassy and you don't want them to be spitting up all over the place. So definitely make sure you still burp your breastfed baby. My last tip and my number one tip to all of you is don't compare yourself to others. Everybody's going to have a different breastfeeding journey. Every baby is different. Every mom is different nipples are different some have inverted and just all that stuff no two babies are the same no two moms are the same so don't compare yourself to others don't stress yourself out and some moms have an easier breastfeeding journey and other moms will have a little more complicated journey 
but overall as long as you are feeding your baby that is the number one goal and if you need help don't be afraid to reach out and ask for it it doesn't make you weak it doesn't make you less of a mother and if you aren't breastfeeding if you're bottle feeding that's absolutely okay fed is best no matter how you're doing it yeah i hope you enjoyed this video someone got hungry but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure you're subscribed to my channel if you aren't ready and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys